Cool. All right. Welcome to body weight strength this week. Um, we'll start with our warm up. So you can take a nice wide stance. We're going to go for our squat with a forward fold and squat back down and stand. This is one you can keep it really slow and just get as low as comfortable with each of these pieces, both the squat and the forward fold. Squat starting to warm the legs up. That forward fold is just giving a little stretch to the hamstrings, low back, and all that good stuff. If you're like me, you can keep a bend in the legs with that forward fold. Got some tight hamstrings. Spend about 10 more seconds here. Last five, four, three, two, one. You can finish it out, coming back to standing and keeping our wide stance. We'll move right into our windmill toe touches. So arms out wide to start. We'll hinge down to reach towards the toe or shin and lift back to standing. Boy, oh boy, is it snowy today. <laughs> Further focusing on opening up the hips here, giving the glutes a little squeeze to lift ourselves to standing. And keep it nice and slow. Spend about 10 more seconds. Last five. Four, three, two, one. If you'd like, you can finish it out, even and out. Good. All right, from here, we'll take some nice big arm swings. Careful of your surroundings. Trying to loosen up the shoulders. You can also take an alternating swimming like motion if that's more comfortable. Good. And we'll switch directions, sending them backwards. And you can do the same time. You can do some alternating. Whatever is comfortable. Ten more seconds. Here's five, four, three, two. And one, ooh, shake it out. All right, we're just gonna get started. Um, starting off with some legs to kick things off. So we're gonna do narrow to wide squats. So feet are gonna start about a little inside of hip width. We'll squat it down, stand up, go out, squat down, stand up. And we're gonna go all on the right side with this, keeping it slow and trying to smoothly transition between those two. So we have 45 seconds. Feel free to take breaks as needed. We'll get started in three, two, one. Here we go. So narrow squat first, low as comfortable. Then we'll step it out wide, lower down as far as comfortable. And again, we're just stepping with that right leg this first round. Don't you worry, we'll hit that left side second time through. Nice light step, light landing when we step out, especially with that wide squat. Awesome work, everybody. 15 more seconds. Slow and steady. And last five, four, three, two, one. You can finish it out. Good. All right, we are headed down to the ground. If you have a mat, that's great. If not, that's okay. We are gonna do some push-ups. So if you need a little padding, um, you can either flip your mat over or you can even grab like a towel or a blanket or something, whatever's handy. So for our push-ups today, again, narrow to wide. So with narrow, hands are gonna be pretty close together. We're gonna lower down as far as comfortable, press up. And then we'll walk the hands out towards the edge of your mat or a little outside of shoulder width. Again, lower down as far as comfortable, press up. So this is a nice slow one, again, just transitioning between the two hand positions. And you can do this on knees or toes. Um, triceps push-ups are pretty hard, so I recommend knees for that when you're first starting. If it feels okay, you can jump up to the toes. Sound good? 
perfect. I'll pretend you responded. <laughs> we'll get started in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Narrow two wide push ups. And just nice transition between the two hand positionings inside of shoulder width, followed by outside. You can take your time. If you ever need breaks, feel free to take a little stretch back. Child's pose is a great one. Maybe just hold this position too. But we only have 15 seconds left. Continuing to exhale as we press ourselves away, we draw belly button towards the spine to brace that core nice and tight. Last five, four, three, two, one. And we'll all take a nice stretch back to child's pose, sinking hips towards heels. Take two deep breaths, give the arms a little break here. Good. And after your two deep breaths, we'll go ahead and just flip over. We're staying on our mats or on the ground for some core work. So we have one exercise, but we're going to do it on both sides. So it's going to be a minute total, but 30 seconds per side. We'll take a little break in between. We have cross crunches. So we're going to start by bending the right knee and keeping the left arm behind the head. Left leg is straight right arm is straight. So the motion we're going to lift up and twist to reach towards the outside of the left leg and then lower back down with control. So again, lift, twist, and control it on the way down. So we're trying to sit up as far as comfortable and really focus on getting that little twist at the top. We'll begin on side one in three, two, one. Here we go. There's no rush. Nice and slow, especially on the way down. A little twist, a little flourish at the top. Only 10 seconds left on this side. Last five, four, three, two, one. And we'll take a little break here. So we're going to Bend the left leg, straighten out the right leg. The right arm is behind the head and the left arm is straight. We'll begin with side two in three, two, one. Here we go. So reaching left arm towards outside of the right leg. And nice and slow, especially as we come down. Continuing to get that little Twist at the top. 10 seconds left. Last five, four, three, two, one. Good. You can finish it out. And we'll make our way to standing, however, it's comfortable. Take your time bringing it up. If you want to grab a sip of water too, feel free. You're back to the top. As promised, we are going to the left side for our narrow to wide squats. So reminder, feet are inside of hip width. We're gonna squat down and then we'll step out with the left leg, that wide squat. We have 45 seconds beginning in three, two, one. Here we go, squatting down, lift, wide step. Get a nice soft landing. Slow and steady, we have no rush, plenty of time. Getting as low as comfortable for you, keeping chest lifted as much as possible. Really pushing hips behind us. Good, we have about 10 more seconds. Be getting a little bit lower if you can. Last five, four, three, two, one. You can finish it out and shake the legs out. Good. We'll head to the mat. Back to our narrow to wide push ups. Um, again, first is our inside the shoulders grip, second is nice and wide. 
We'll begin in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Getting as low as comfortable for you. Keeping that transition between the hand, hand positions controlled. We'll draw the belly button in towards the spine to brace the core and try to keep the back as flat as possible. You're already over halfway through. If you ever need breaks, feel free to just hold at the top or even take a little stretch back. A little refresher, jump back in when you're ready. We're in our home stretch here. Final five, four, three, two, one. And we'll all take a nice stretch back to child's pose, hips towards heels. You can take two deep breaths here. Good reset. And whenever you're done with your two deep breaths, we'll just kind of swivel, take a seat back to cross crunches. So we have 30 seconds per side, same as last time. We'll start with left leg straight, right arm straight, beginning in four, three, two, one, here we go. Nice and slow, especially on the way down, we're keeping it controlled. And that little twist at the top, we have 15 seconds left. We'll be trying to reach a little bit higher up if we can. Last five, four, three, two, one. And you can relax for a moment, take your time. We'll switch, so we'll straighten out the right leg, straighten out the left arm, beginning in four, three, two, one. Here we go. Setting up, getting that little twist. Slow all the way down. Common theme, never in a rush. Take your time. We want to focus on the quality of our movement versus the quantity. And final five, four, three, two, one. You can finish it out. And we'll take a nice full body stretch. That's the end of round one. Ooh. So feel free to oops, grab some water, knock it over. And slowly just roll up. We're gonna stay down on the mat, so you don't need to make your way to standing. We'll give us a little time here. All right, give us like 15 more seconds. I'll talk through our first exercise. We are staying on our mats. We're gonna start with the glute bridge variation. So feet are gonna start like normal about hip width apart. Um, as close as comfortable to the glutes. We're going to be lifting up in that glute bridge. We're just gonna add a little walk. So we're gonna step one foot out, the other foot out, and bring it right back in. If you want more of a challenge, you can start to walk your feet out even further. You're gonna feel the hamstrings fire up as well as the glutes. So again, you can either just do the one step out, one step back as we hold, or you can go for that further walk out as long as we're keeping those hips lifted. So we have 45 seconds here. Another slow and steady one. We'll begin in four, three, two, one, here we go. So lifting up. Again, we're either just taking a step out, step back, and really focusing on those hips, keeping them as level as possible. Or you can start to walk it out even further. Extra challenge. Good. If you ever need a break, we're going to break by holding that glute bridge, just taking out the walk for a moment. Jumping back in when you're ready. We'll try to lift the hips up a half inch higher. Keep those glutes and hamstrings working. Final five, four, three, two, 
One, walk your way back up and then lower down. Woo. All right, we are just gonna stay on our mats, but we'll flip over onto our front. So we have another fun combo. We're gonna do a plank hold to a triceps press up. So with the plank hold, we have two options. We're gonna be on our elbows, just with our palms on the ground. Forearms are parallel and elbows are about shoulder width apart. Um, we're going to hold a plank, so you can either plank on the knees and hold for about five counts. I'll trust your counting, keep it slow. Or you can hold up on the toes five counts. And then we're gonna lower down to the knees. If you're on the toes, press up through the palms, lower down nice and slow, and then back to a plank. So again, the plank hold can either be knees, toes, five seconds, then wherever you're at, dropping to the knees, lifting up and back down. So a little mental workout here too, but you can pick your option. We'll start with your five second count for the plank hold and keep it slow, don't rush it. We'll begin in four, three, two, one. Here we go, so plank hold first, about five seconds. And then we're going to drop to the knees if you're not already, lift it up, down, and back to our plank hold, keeping back flat. And going to our press up, the palms down slow, and plank hold. Good. Nice and slow, control those press ups. We're working those triceps. Almost done. Last five, four, three, two, one. And we'll take a nice stretch back to your child's pose. Two deep breaths. Just let the arms be heavy, let them hang out. All right. And we are staying on our mat. We're just gonna walk ourselves forward, lower all the way down. We have a super variation. So we're going to be lifting up, pressing out, pulling back and lowering back down. So again, lift up, press, pull and squeeze, and then lower back down. So we'll get started in four, three, two, one, here we go. Lifting up, press, pull, squeeze tight, and lower back down. An option two, you can keep the feet on the ground. That's more comfortable. I have to throw that out there. So know that that's an option as well. But really focusing on that squeeze tight as we pull those arms down. Really work in the back here, getting the shoulders involved, getting the biceps involved. Using as tight as we can. 10 seconds left. Good. Last five, four, three, two, one. And we can stretch it back. If you want to take a quick child's pose, take a deep breath. And then we'll make our way back to a seat and on our backs to glute bridge, you're back to the top. Nice quick rounds today. So setting up, feet are about hip width apart, close to the glutes as comfortable, and we'll begin in four, three, two, one. Here we go, so lifting up, we're holding here, either walking one step out, one step back, or you can hold if that's more comfortable, or if you really wanna go for it, we're gonna walk out a little bit further as long as you can keep the hips lifted and as level as possible. Really working hamstrings here, especially with that walkout. And don't be afraid to play around with that walkout. Maybe go a little further, just test out the waters. Nice work, we are almost there, keeping those hips lifted tall, inch higher. And five, four, three, two, 
one, you can walk it back in and then lower down. Ooh. We'll make our way onto our fronts. We are back to our plank hold in a roughly five seconds, slow count, and then to that press up. So elbows are right below the shoulders, palms are flat. We'll begin with a plank hold in four, three, two, one. Here we go. So about five seconds for your plank. If you're not already, drop to the knees and we'll press up. Down slow, and back to a plank. Awesome work. Really power up through the palms. Again, as slow as you can go. Back to the mat. Nice work, everyone. We're staying focused. Pushing through here. We have about 10 seconds left. So about two more press ups. Last five, four, three, two, one. You can finish out and then we'll stretch it back. Walking the hands back, sitting hips towards heels just for a deep breath. Good. And we'll slowly shift ourselves forward all the way down to the mat. We're back to our super variation with our lift, press, pull with either feet on the ground or feet hovering. We'll get ready in four, three, two, one. Again, and squeezing tight as we pull those arms down. Looks like you're trying to show off and flex a little bit, just squeezing everything nice and tight. Already over halfway through. We're trying to squeeze a little bit tighter, really emphasizing that here. Final 10 seconds. And last five, four, three, two, one. Good work, everyone. We'll take a stretch back. Child's pose. If you still are liking this stretch, you can also shift side to side, kind of switch it up or even walk the hands side to side. And feel free to grab some water. We are gonna make our way to standing for our final round through. Power through, we still have plenty of time. Ooh. All right. So I'll start talking through our first exercise. We're back to some legs and we have a lunge hold. So we'll start with the left leg, taking a big step back, making sure our knee is right above the ankle and you can get as low as comfortable. So if you wanna be a little more upright, that's fine. You can get lower, great, uh, totally up to you. And as we're holding, arm or palms are gonna be together. Pressing close, should feel a little shake. I'll emphasize it, a little shake with the hands. We're going to keep pressing, squeezing to fire up the chest. We're gonna add a slight twist to the left, back to the center. So we're just twisting left and we are stepping back with our left leg. So we'll switch halfway through. So about 22-ish seconds, I'll let you know. We'll quick step it up, right leg will come back and then we'll start to twist the opposite way. So. Very good. We'll begin with our left leg back. You can take a step back in three, two, one. Here we go. So palms together, push them together tight. We're just twisting open as far as comfortable and just twist to the left. Should feel the core working here, getting fired up. Squeeze those hands together. Again, a little shake is what we're aiming for. Make sure those muscles are working and fired up. We'll switch in three, two, one. So we'll just quick step up, right leg comes back and we are twisting to the right. Just holding that lunge, squeezing palms together, twisting as far as comfortable, activate the core. 
Good, you're almost there. Squeeze tighter. Four, three, two, one, and we'll step it up, shake the hands out. Good. All right, we're headed down to the mat. We have another exercise. We're gonna switch sides halfway through, and we have some donkey kick pulses. So back to work in the glutes. Hands are gonna be directly below shoulders. Another option if the wrists aren't comfortable here, you can make a fist to keep the wrists more neutral. So totally up to you. We'll start with the left leg. Keeping a 90 degree bend, we're just gonna kick up towards the ceiling and trying to brace the core tight to keep the body stable. We'll just stay here for about 22-ish seconds and then we'll switch, bringing the other leg up. So again, starting with the left, we'll get started in three, two, one, here we go. And trying to keep that 90 degree bend, just pushing the heel up towards the ceiling, just a little bit of movement. We'll try to draw the belly button towards the spine. Keep that core tight to help keep the body stable. We'll get ready to switch to the right side in four, three, two, one. We'll switch legs. And keeping a 90 degree bend, pressing up with the heel. Brace that core tight, belly button towards the spine. Good, home stretch, bring leg up a little bit higher. Four, three, two, one, and you can relax. We're just gonna make our way to a seat and onto our backs. We are back to some core. And this time we'll start with our legs lifted. They're just gonna stay here. Arms are gonna be clapped together right above the head. We're gonna do some chops. So just like it sounds, we're gonna sit up and chop to the left, back to the center, chop to the right, back to the center, keeping arms together and always resetting with arms overhead. So the back should stay fairly flat to the mat. If you need to adjust it, you can also take a bend of the knees and still just go for that chopping motion, but will help to kind of keep things grounded a little more. So with all that said, you can pick what option works best for you. We'll begin in four, three, two, one. Here we go. And we're chopping back to the center. And always exhaling with our chop. Inhale as we bring the arms back. Here we go. About 10 seconds left. And tough. Here's five, four, three, two, one, and you can relax. Good. We can bring knees to chest just for a moment, maybe rack side to side a couple times. And then we'll grab behind the knees, take a roll up. We'll start to make our way to standing. We're back to lunges, lunge hold that is. We'll power through. If you do need to hop off, you know, I'm pushing time a little bit. Feel free to hop off. That's totally fine. And I will post this. So if you want, you can do it all over again. So we'll take a step back with that left leg first. And we'll begin in four, three, two, one. So hold low, squeeze the palms together. Just twist to the left, center, left, keep it slow. Going as far as comfortable with that twist, just enough to feel the core start to fire up. Push the palms together as hard as we can. Good, and we'll get ready to switch in three, two, one. We'll step up, switch right leg back, and same thing, just twisting to the right side as far as comfortable, just enough to fire up the core back to the center. We press the palms together a little bit tighter. Palm stretch. Here's three, two, one. Good, we'll step it up, shake it out. And we'll head to the mat. Power around here. We're back to our donkey kick pulses. We'll start with that left leg with either palms flat 
or more neutral in a fist position. We'll begin in four, three, two, one. Here we go, left leg up about 90 degrees. It's a little bit of movement. Kicking that heel up towards the ceiling. Got about 10 seconds left on this leg. We'll get ready to switch in three, two, one, switch. Right leg comes up in about 90 degrees, pressing heel towards the ceiling. Bracing that core by drawing belly button towards the spine. And final 10 seconds here. Last five, four, three, two, one, good. We'll make our way to a seat and onto our backs for the final exercise. Back to chops. So we'll make our way down. Legs can either be straightened or bent if that's more comfortable to keep the back flat. Arms are overhead. Final 30 seconds of work in three, two, one. Let's do this. And exhale as we chop. Inhale on the way back. And setting up as far as comfortable. Awesome work, 10 seconds. This is it for class. Last five, four, three, two, one can finish it out and we'll take a full body stretch. A couple deep breaths, maybe a pat on the back for a job well done. Woo. If you have time, you can hang around for a cool down stretch again if you need to head out. Totally understand. All right, from here, we'll grab behind the knees. Take some roll ups using some momentum. You can take as many or as few of these as you'd like. Eventually make your way to a butterfly stretch with feet together in the center, pressing down lightly on the knees with elbows. I'm just taking a couple deep breaths, hanging out here. And also kind of rock side to side if that's comfortable. We have options, always have options. Good. All right, we'll kind of hinge ourselves back and we'll slowly make our way to standing, however it's comfortable for you. When you're ready, we'll go into power stance. So stepping back with the left leg, you can either keep the heel up or if you want a calf stretch too, you can try to bring it down. We'll pull that left hip forward. You should feel a stretch in the hip flexor here. And we'll bring left arm across the body Hug and hold. If you'd like, you can roll out the wrist, stretch out the fingers, take a couple deep breaths. All right, good. We'll release everything, shake it out, and we'll switch sides. So taking a step back with that right leg, again, either heel up or for a bonus calf stretch, try to press it down. Pull the right hip forward to feel that stretch in the hip flexor, and we'll bring the right arm across the body. Hug and hold, trying to keep that shoulder down from the ear as much as possible. Option to roll the wrists, stretch the fingers, all those good things. Couple deep breaths. And then we'll slowly release, shake it out, and we'll finish up with um, hamstring stretches. So wide stance, we'll reach down towards the left leg just for a few deep breaths. Try to keep the head lifted a little bit. We get one more deep breath. And we'll go ahead and just swing our way over to the right leg all the way across. Same thing, just holding here. Should feel a really nice stretch, especially in that right hamstring. A few deep breaths. All 
All right, and we'll slowly roll our way all the way to standing. We'll just take one big overhead stretch, take a deep breath, press those arms up, maybe move side to side. And release them down, roll the shoulders, shake it out. All right, that's all I have for you guys. Thanks so much for hanging with me um, for bodyweight strength.